interesting. Okay, so now that we've created a profile, we're also gonna create a dual illuminate profile. Now, I've already selected two images that were shot of the mini color checker, and I've done this solely for the purpose of showing you what's gonna happen if you try to select two images that were shot using the same lighting. Um, we're gonna go back through and I'll show you how to basically bring the files in in just a moment. But in this situation, I just wanna let you know that this is what's gonna happen. Um, you've got both of your images selected. You can click on back and forth. You'll notice that the crop marks, once again, my software in the standalone was able to locate it. This one might look a little bit out of place, so we're just gonna bump that up there by grabbing a hold of it on the corner. And maybe we'll just kind of bring this one down just a hair. Coming back over to the second image, yeah, we'll do the same thing. It doesn't look like the pixels are too out of place, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just straighten it out rather than waiting. We already know that something's gonna happen when we try to create a profile here. And so we'll straighten this one also. So now we're gonna click on Create Profile. And I'm only gonna call this Test just because of the fact I wanna show you what's gonna happen with these two images. As you see, it's saving the digital camera data profile. This does take a couple of moments for it to try to process through the, all of the data that the images are, are holding. And, and it, at this point, it's trying to build the data and the, or excuse me, the profile. Here's what I wanted you to see. If both of your images are shot under the same lighting conditions, you're going to receive an error that says, could not create profile because the images have the same color illuminant. Select images with different illuminants. We're gonna go ahead and say okay, and now we're just gonna erase both of these images by clicking on the X at the top left-hand corner. And now we're gonna go back over and find two images that I know will, will work and are truly taken in different lighting conditions. We'll select them both at the same time by using our control click. Click on open and it's gonna load both of these images for me. Once again, once it has both of my images loaded, we'll double check to make sure that the crop marks are correct. It, it is something that you'll wanna note. This is part of the reason that using the standalone is something nice to, to have that functionality because this cannot be done through the Lightroom plugin. You need to create a dual Illuminate plugin, or excuse me, a dual Illuminate DNG profile only using the Color Checker Passport standalone application. Uh, the, there's not a way for the Lightroom plugin to be able to process both of those images simultaneously, but that's okay. You simply just launch into the application directly and then it'll allow you to have the same type of, of control. Now the crop marks on this image it looks pretty good. We'll, we'll go ahead and straighten these out once again just by grabbing our corners and moving the crop marks. You do have the ability to zoom in closer. You can also remove the crop marks by clicking on these side arrows. Um, we're not gonna do anything of that nature at this point because we wanna go ahead and create this profile. Uh, once again, on the first image, that looks pretty good also. We'll go ahead and we'll move this back up here just a hair. And now we're gonna click Create Profile it's automatically gonna place the name of the camera in the naming file convention. And then the only thing I'm gonna add is that it's dual illuminate. And now we'll go ahead and click on save. And again, it's gonna start processing our profile and, and we can just watch this process through. Um, one thing to note, when you apply a dual alum illuminate profile, you're basically gonna do this in a condition that say you were out on a shoot and your conditions were really not ideal for you to try to get a good shot of your mini color checker so that you could process it later. Or you went out and you forgot your mini, mini color checker. That's okay. The purpose of using a dual illuminate profile is that if for whatever reason you were not able to build a profile for the shooting conditions at the time of your shoot, you can create a dual illuminate profile and you'll still be able to apply that to images 
from other shoots at a later time. They work basically from one lighting extreme to another, so they're gonna try to, to fill in all the data in between to give you the best possible results. As you can see, our profile has been generated. We're just gonna go ahead and say okay, and that's how easy it is to make a dual luminate profile.